that is that it? Yeah, that's that little, that little. Woo. <laughs> that bad bit in it. So this YouTube channel name is Grace and Dan, but Dan is a bit of a ghost. Oh, so. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> he just likes to show his pop in for one second and then piss off. Um, That's what I do. So if we go viral, it will be just the Grace channel. It will not. Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube. And for those of you that are new here, hello, we're Grace and Dan, and we are currently renovating our first house. So this week's video is all about our new windows. When we first looked around the house, we knew that we were probably gonna have to replace all the windows. They were aluminium frames, and quite a lot of them were rotten on the outside, and they just weren't, that. yeah, they weren't gonna last. Um, so we knew that we were gonna eventually have to upgrade them. We didn't actually originally plan on upgrading them as early as we have. We thought that we could live with them for a little while and then we would save up the money because windows are so expensive. Um, and then, as you know, plans change and with a little bit of pressure, but also we kind of realised that if we were going to be redecorating the house, um, if we then put installed windows later on, it would kind of ruin the redecorating work that we had done. So we just decided to kind of bite the bullet and just get it done to start with. So this week's video is going to be showing you the process of getting our new windows installed. So the reason we're replacing our windows, as you can see, the frames, their wooden frames, have just completely rotted. So we just have holes. Um, on the window and then their aluminium windows we didn't want to do this as early on as we are but you know things came up and with, with redecorating it's just we might as well just do it now um, before we paint the inside because it will just get ruined again but you can see the holes are pretty bad uh, here in the frames so this is the bay from the inside and We've replastered here because this was really damp, so obviously the frames weren't fitted properly. And um, oh, it's a bit dark. Let me switch the light on. And we were getting damp, so the new windows will help solve that as well. But we've had to chip off some plaster here, and it will need repairing. Um, but really excited to get our new windows. The bathroom windows getting changed. Prepped the area for this to be changed. Um, this is actually our bathroom's at the front of the house, which is really bizarre. So we've opted to not have this window open because the toilet will be here and it's just a bit pointless. I'm just going to have one that opens at the top. Um, and also it's just a bit safer if we ever left, forgot and left the window open. And then all three bedroom windows are getting changed as well. So this will be updated. I honestly, I never touch those netted curtains because they just make me feel sick so dusty um so i look forward to those being off and this window we're actually so lucky because the window feels really big um and when we were speaking to the person changing our windows he was like don't split it into three um because with the plastic we'll just lose so much of the view um so which he's right i would never have thought about that so that is one of the that's great and then this will all be UPVC obviously UPVC white as well wouldn't be my first choice but we are on a budget and the cost to get them coloured or to have anything else it was just we just couldn't justify it so do you know what everybody basically has UPVC and you don't even notice I think it will brighten the room and then anything's going to be better than this wooden aluminium situation this will be our bedroom, so nice big window here, looking out, beautiful tree. Um, we haven't actually revealed the whitewash yet, maybe by the time we release this video we, ha we will have. Um, but yeah, this room has been whitewashed, and then we have now had to put some um, of my furniture that we were storing in here, so yeah, I think that's exciting. The window people aren't actually replacing these, they weren't included in the cost. 
but we're going to do that ourselves so watch this space and then we have these windows in the toilet and going down the stairs we have one here and one here um these aren't being changed simply because it was just too getting too expensive and these are standard size windows so we had a look on wix and these windows they cost about 100 pounds and um dan's dad's pretty sure that he can change them himself so that's one of the ways that we've saved a bit of cost we would never be able to do the bay window ourselves and the bedrooms we would never be able to change but where we can we've saved a few thousand pounds um with these ones obviously out the back we have the kitchen windows and the sliding door but these are staying because Oh, when we do the extension who knows when that will be at the moment um we will be changing these so there's just no point and we'll have some sliding doors or bifolds look you can see we have some temporary electrics here these are all external we haven't buried them in again because we will be doing an extension so we've just run all the cables on the walls um and then when we do the work they'll all get done properly but this is a temporary measure but really exciting yeah. How much did new windows in southwest London cost us in 2022? So we ended up changing the front bay window and three bedroom windows, yeah. and we didn't do the back of the house we did one on the. Window. Sorry. Okay, so scratch that. We changed one bay window downstairs. We left the back of the house because we'll be doing an extension. And then we did the three bedroom windows upstairs and one bathroom window upstairs, as you've seen. And the cost of this was just under £4,000. So we actually had a bit of a discount because we had a family friend that also wanted to get their windows changed. So I would highly recommend if you know anyone else that's also looking to get their windows done, see if you can ask the people that you want to get your windows or anyone that's installing your windows, if they'll do a discount if you recommend someone and give them some other business. So yeah, like I said, we had a 5% discount. So I think in total, our windows cost three thousand nine hundred and sixty five pounds so for, that is huge that's like half of what we spent on renovating our house so, so far that's a massive chunk of the budget and i just didn't appreciate how expensive windows were so let me know if you think that that's like a good price or have we been ripped off so here we are we have the new windows in they've uh, obviously filled in where they created some damage so unfortunately we have had quite a lot of issues with this window installation for example currently in our living room bay and for some reason one of the panes is just randomly frosted we didn't ask for this um i can understand why well i can't understand why they've done it when we haven't asked but the point of it because privacy from your neighbor attached to you but we've just not asked for it so it's something else that they're gonna have to fix so if they've just left this one like this and it should have trim uh up the side to cover that gap like i know we're living in a renovation but if we weren't you wouldn't think it was acceptable to leave it like this so i don't know why they think it's okay to do this job so as you can see from the video frustratingly it wasn't a really smooth process we had some issues with the people that were installing our windows and that's why i always recommend not paying for everything up front so we paid 50 percent up front and then we were only gonna pay the rest of the money when we were happy um, with the finished job. We were away in Australia for three weeks. And before we went, we knew that there was still work that they needed to finish. But whilst we were away, the person working with this company did keep ringing me and kept trying to get me to just pay. And I said, no, we've still got issues we need to sort out when we're back. And he's like, okay, but will you just pay me the rest of the money now? Which obviously we weren't going to do. So just something to be wary of, like don't feel pressured to pay people when they've not completed their service um because when we came back from australia is when we realized that we had a random blurred out pane in our bay window instead of just normal glass and if we'd have just paid him whilst we were away he might not have just he probably wouldn't have bothered to come and change it because he'd had his money i'm not saying he would have been like that but it's just something to be aware of so I hope you found this video useful, guys. Let us know if there's anything you want to see. I think our next video is going to be an updated house tour with maybe some updated costs on how much we spent so far. And Dan is going to do a video on our home security system. So see you next time. Bye.
Thank you.